Every day, we come into contact with household items that could be increasing our risk of cancer. Many of these objects, from the plastic containers we use to store food to the mattresses we sleep on, contain chemicals that have been linked to cancer. This video will expose seven common household objects that could endanger your health. How can you minimize your exposure to these potential dangers? Stay tuned to find out what items to watch out for and how to protect yourself. Non-stick cookware. These heroes in the kitchen let you whip up a pancake without leaving half of it stuck to the pan and the champions that you can clean with just a swipe. Convenience at its best, right? But how safe are these non-stick wonders? Teflon, the name we all know, is more than just a brand. It's a type of plastic called polytetrafluoroethylene. This stuff is everywhere, from your kitchen to the wires in your walls. It's a superstar at resisting heat, stains, and grease. But here's where it gets sticky. The old school Teflon was made using a chemical called PFOA, short for perfluorooctanoic acid. This stuff is tough enough to fight off heat, oil, and stains. Sounds great, but not when you hear that studies have linked PFOA to some serious health risks like cancer, immune issues, and more. It even messed with lab animals, affecting their growth and liver health. Flash forward to the 2000s, and the scene starts to change. Manufacturers began ditching PFOA around 2002, and by 2014, it was officially banned in the US, with Europe taking the lead in 2008. So, if your non-stick pans predate 2013, they might just have that notorious PFOA. So, what's the take-home message? Maybe it's time to reassess your non-stick cookware. If you're hanging on to older pieces, consider this a nudge to upgrade. After all, newer versions are not just safer, they're also better at letting you flip those pancakes effortlessly. Commercial cleaning products. Next, let's scrub down some facts about what's under your kitchen sink, those household cleaning products. We all have sprays, wipes, and solutions to zap germs and keep our homes spotless. But while they're wiping out bacteria, what else are they doing? Here's the not so squeaky clean truth. Many of these cleaners pack a punch that goes beyond the grime. They're linked to a bunch of health issues, from respiratory problems and asthma to hormone disruption. Yes, the stuff that's keeping your counters clean might be dirtying up your health. Ingredients like parabens, triclosan, phthalates, and BPA are the usual suspects here, messing with your body's natural systems. And here's an expert tip. Many household cleaning products contain endocrine disruptors, which can lead to cancer. Keep in mind that most of the cleaning products we use aren't necessary. A simple soap and water method often does the trick for cleaning floors, carpets, windows, and walls. Saving the harsher stuff for emergencies will reduce exposure. So next time you reach for that heavy-duty cleaner, think about whether a gentler solution could tackle the task. Your health and your home might thank you for it. Air fresheners. Who doesn't love walking into a room filled with a fresh, soothing scent? Air fresheners promise just that, from sprays and plug-ins to scented candles. But while air fresheners mask odors, they might also mask a cocktail of chemicals that can tarnish the air we breathe. Many air fresheners contain compounds that keep those fragrances lingering longer. But at what cost? According to the Environmental Protection Agency, these products can be especially harsh for individuals with asthma or allergies, heightening their sensitivity to these artificial scents. Digging deeper, a startling 75% of air fresheners were flagged by the Environmental Working Group for containing ingredients with significant health or environmental risks. Why? These products often contain volatile organic compounds, VOCs, which can trigger everything from migraine headaches to asthma attacks and even neurological issues. Even short-term exposure can irritate your eyes, throat, and nose, not to mention cause nausea. Professionals point out that the chemicals in air fresheners can activate immune system responders known as mast cells, leading to inflammation and a heightened chemical sensitivity with repeated use. Once these cells are sensitized, even minor exposures can set them off. But it doesn't stop there. The long-term use of these products raises even graver concerns. Many air fresheners contain endocrine-disrupting chemicals like phthalates, which mimic or interfere with the body's hormones. What's alarming is that these ingredients often don't make it onto the product labels. Shockingly, in a 2007 Natural Resources Defense Council study, phthalates were found in most air fresheners tested, including those labeled all natural and unscented. The humble toothpaste. If you think toothpaste is just about fresh breath and sparkling teeth, 
Well, it might be time to take a closer look at that tube in your bathroom. It turns out the humble toothpaste might not be as innocent as it seems. Now let's talk about ingredients. Have you ever heard of saccharin? This artificial sweetener is about 350 times sweeter than sugar. But here's the kicker. It's considered a potential human carcinogen. That's right. The stuff making your toothpaste taste good could have a downside that's not so tasty. And then there's fluoride. Sure, it's famous for fighting cavities, but it's got a darker side too. Some studies suggest it could do more harm than good, from damaging your thyroid to even doubling down on dental decay under certain conditions. But don't worry, there's a twist in the tale. Have you ever thought of coconut oil as a toothpaste alternative? This kitchen staple is stepping out of the pantry and into the bathroom. Coconut oil is celebrated for its antimicrobial properties, making it a natural and healthy option for oral care. Mattresses. Whatever is inside your mattress might be more than just springs and foam. Many mattresses come with a hidden ingredient, flame retardants. These chemicals are added to slow down the spread of fires, but they also come with some sleep-disturbing side effects. The National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences has raised red flags about these chemicals. Long-term exposure is not great. We're talking about serious health impacts like various types of cancer, reproductive issues, and even effects on child development. Yeah, that's a lot to take in, especially considering we spend about a third of our lives in bed, breathing in whatever our mattress has cooked up. But hold on, don't rush to throw out your mattress just yet. According to experts, if your mattress has been around for a while, it's likely done most of its off-gassing. That's when the chemicals it was made with slowly released into the air. When it is time to buy a new mattress, you have healthier options. Opt for mattresses made without flame retardants. And when you bring home that new sleep setup, let it breathe. Increase ventilation in your bedroom to speed up the off-gassing process. Crack open a window, turn on a fan, and let fresh air do its thing. Plastic containers. Plastic is everywhere. It wraps our food in our phones and forms our chairs. But while plastic is super convenient, it might also be playing a role we're not so comfortable with, impacting our health. Here's the scoop. Plastic might just be a silent hazard in our homes. A growing pile of research suggests that everyday exposure to certain plastics could bump up your cancer risk. Why? Because of some not-so-friendly chemicals like bisphenol A, BPA, and phthalates, which are known for their carcinogenic properties. BPA, a mainstay in producing polycarbonate plastics and epoxy resins, helps plastics retain their shape and strength but can leach out, finding its way into your food or skin. Known as an endocrine disruptor, it messes with your hormones and, according to some animal studies, might increase cancer risk. Phthalates, the chemicals that give plastics their bend and flexibility, are found in everything from PVC piping to flooring and even some beauty products. Like BPA, they are endocrine disruptors and have been linked to potential cancer risks in animal studies although human data is still catching up. Scented candles. Now imagine you've just capped off a hectic day. You pour yourself a glass of red wine, kick back, and light a scented candle to unwind. Sounds perfect, right? You're definitely not alone in this ritual. Thanks to the comfort they offer, especially during the uncertainty of the COVID-19 pandemic, scented candles have seen a surge in popularity in the United States, with sales jumping 30% since the global health crisis began. By 2028, this market is expected to reach a whopping $690.8 million. Clearly, candles aren't just about providing light anymore. They're a part of our relaxation and decor. But as their popularity soars, so do concerns about their safety. They release volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, which might not be as soothing as their scents suggest. The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, warns that VOCs can have short-term and long-term adverse health effects. Take benzene and formaldehyde, for instance. Both are types of VOCs found in scented candles, and both are linked to a higher cancer risk, according to health experts like the American Cancer Society and the National Cancer Institute. The big question remains, are the levels of VOCs in scented candles high enough to be harmful? The jury is still out on that. However, the potential risks suggest that you might also be igniting a few health hazards when you light that candle to relax. Now that you know what these items are and their risks, it's your turn to make informed decisions. Will you make changes in your home to reduce these risks? What steps will you take to protect yourself and your loved ones? Share your thoughts and plans in the comments below.